Hello my Soccer Universe! As you can tell, I have quite a few Serie A jerseys from the 23-24 season. Kind of weird, but if you've watched my uh, Serie A jersey review from that season, which you can find the link here, you saw that there were quite a few jerseys that I really, really, really liked. And then at the end of July I saw another one, one that I never really thought, the Verona. A wager is the yellow one with a nice cityscape on the sleeves, and I thought, mm, I really want to get this one. It was for 40 euros, they had it in my size, but the 20 euro shipping really turned me off. And so, you know, I said, let's wait for August, maybe if it's there, I still get it. But then there was always one team from my Serie A collection, also one jersey from that season, where I thought, as much as I love this Verona jersey, I will need this particular type of jersey probably a little bit more and it will hold a whole lot more value than this Verona jersey, as much as I love it. And they were about the same and you know I also spent quite some money on patches and name sets so I had to make a hard call. And yes, here is another one, slightly cheaper, I ordered this one from Sports Direct. This is a Serie A jersey that I said at the beginning of the season, as much as I may like others, this is the one that I actually should get and I hope the price comes down and finally I saw it for a somewhat decent price. I think with shipping I'm getting this particular jersey for I think 53. I had a 10% coupon signing up to the newsletter, that's a good trick. And I added also another jersey to kind of offset the shipping a little bit. The other jersey though is not a Serie A jersey, I'm not gonna reveal it in this video. Okay, let's open up the parcel. I let you venture a guess. There's a reason why I'm wearing a Milan jersey. Let's see what I, which jersey I really want to have. I let you look into the parcel. No, it's not this bluish one, it's actually the white one that we're gonna look at. The other one will be revealed in due time. It is, of course, an X large. You see, sale 40 pounds. Yes, Sports Direct it comes from England, but it actually came relatively quick. It was within a week with customs and, and so on. So, cannot complain about that. It arrived well in time before I went on vacation because the initial delivery date would already be the day where I'm gone. But it came as I expected it. And let's open it up. I'm not sure how much you can tell from this here already, but let's see, let's see what I have here. This again makes a whole lot of noise with all the papers in there, so I'm gonna make a cut right here. Okay, let's do the reveal this way. One, two, three. It's the Inter away jersey. Finally, I have a white into away jersey because I have only two in black and blue of course, two home jerseys and I have the third jersey, the grey and the black one. I always thought I should get a white one and I have to say last season's was really nice so that's why I got it even though they became champions and really caused some damage along the way but I thought the design is classic Inter. I'm gonna hang it up on the wall and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this jersey. Before I hang it, just two details. It's completely blank on the back, but there's a nice detail here on the inside of the collar. You know, there's, you see already the pixelated pattern on here. They also have on the inside of the collar, this pixelated inter pattern, which I think is quite nice. Ta-da, here it is. Among all the other jerseys as well, I really love myself a sash design and as I said in the Serie A jersey review, I also like that they use the pixelated pattern to reverse the colors. So we have black on top here, then blue, and here it is reversed. I also like that this actually uses the new Inter logo in its original color. Because on the home jerseys they always use a monochromatic version on it. I actually like this, that we have it. The I am in white on a blue background and the black circle around it makes it look really, really nice. And I think ever since they had the new logo, they only had once another jersey that had the original Inter logo 
if you would like and that was of course the first away jersey with all the snake prints which honestly i would have loved if i could have gotten a sponsorless version which i never found for a reasonable price because the sponsor on that one was just effing ugly this here is a sponsorless version however here i actually like the sponsor i think paramount plus is a very nice sponsor and so now that i have my printing press I can buy this sponsor and put it on there. Yes, many of you will say, why didn't you get the one with the Ninja Turtles, blah, blah, blah. To be honest with you, I'm too old to have even gotten into this and it was never worn this way. So I'm definitely gonna try to get the Paramount Plus sponsor on this one. Maybe even get the Cocarda on there as well. I would love to place it the right way, which should be in the center of the shirt, but if I get it, I will pull it above the swoosh as it was worn. And then, yeah, the jersey is kind of complete. Although I actually do like it this way as well. But, you know, with the white gap here, there should be a sponsor. The Paramount Plus sponsor was actually quite a pleasing one. I have just realized that there's a really nice effect in the sash. Do you see where the white is going over? The black always stops a little bit sooner. So there's overall, if the sash would always be black and blue there would be blue a little bit more prominent yes it is also on the swoosh however and you may see it here as well do you see how the black here there's another transition pixelated one where the black then becomes a little bit thicker and the same is true just above the crest i find this very interesting so kind of balancing out the two colors quite nicely and yes i didn't like the pixelated effect on the home jersey the championship jersey but here i actually think this is quite nicely done makes it also very interesting to look at so yeah inter i think my inter collection for now is complete <laughs> no inter have quite a few nice shirts that of course i would enjoy as well but you know as the rivals of milan i'm not gonna go crazy in inter shirts and i don't want to spend as much money this was the most money i ever spent on an inter jersey because i just needed to get a white one i just needed to get a white one and yeah I had actually a few other options from Wilhelm. I think I saw one from the 17, 18 season or 16, 17 season where they had the, it was plain white with the black and blue sleeve cuffs. Of course, I could have gotten the one from the 22, 23 season, the away jersey that was kind of this turquoise with the map print over, which is interesting, but to me, it's not a classic inter away jersey. This one fits the bill quite well, despite me not liking this particular Nike template all that much. But I think the jersey itself is overall a quite a pleasing one. Is it up to snuff with the other jersey that I've gotten here? I'll let you decide. I think it's not a bad one. Let's put it this way. Now, let's see if by the end of this month the Verona jersey is still hanging around. I might go for it, although I still don't like the 20 euro shipping, so that's number one. And I guess those Napoli jerseys, even though Napoli were atrocious, especially the away jerseys, is something that is really enticing me quite some. And then we have, of course, but I've never seen them for a reason, but the fourth kids by Milan, who were the best kids that season, I would venture. In any case, give me a thumb up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this jersey in particular and all these jerseys in general. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!